All right, so we're here at Montgomery Bell State Park, and Sleepyhead here is fixing to take us on a five-mile trek with a map and a compass. Okie dokie, we're at the park office right here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do this. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it on video. So first of all, I need you to orient the map. It's not gonna be too far off, is it? That way. There's no okay. Way. All right. Good deal. He has oriented the map, at least pretty close, anyway. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're having to do it on the ground. do it on the ground because there's metal on the truck messing with the compass. So he's gonna orient the map down here on the ground. Now our map is oriented. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're starting here and we're going to do the Montgomery Bell uh, loop, which is around this way, this white trail. But when we get here to Creech Hollow Lake, we're going to go all the way around here. We're going to split off and come, come back this way because that will be five miles. We're not going to go all the way around. That's 11 miles. That would be a whole day. Which I've done. No, not really. I mean, you can. Uh, I've done it overnight before because I stayed uh, back here at the, uh, not Hot Springs. I stayed at the uh, Woodland Shelter. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so... We're going to go this way, and then we're going to split off here at Creech Hollow and head back to the, to the park office. Okay. And Levi is going to use his compass to show us which way to go and what turns we're going to make. And hopefully we're not out here all day. I forgot my sunglasses. Well, that's okay. All right. Grab your map and compass. I've got my trusty compass to make sure that he is right. And uh, and we brought a we brought a, 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 a trusty wife and mom with us too. <laughs> who plans? Sure, nobody gets hurt. Who plans to like, take pictures? I guess maybe. So this is a family affair. All right. Again, here at Montgomery Bell State Park, I have camped here numerous times, hiked every trail out here, too many times to count one of my favorite parks I haven't been to every state park in Tennessee but uh, this is my favorite state park so far in Tennessee until until I've made it around to all the state parks so, he's having trouble folding the map <laughs> all right so uh, we're going on a five mile journey hopefully no longer than five miles we're also going to try to bushwhack just a little bit I found a place on the map that we're going to stop and we're going to get off the trail and try to use the compass to straight go that the eagle flies th through the woods to the back to the car so we'll see how that goes depending on uh, how well that goes so join us No, we're not there yet. Matter of fact, it, I don't even know if it's been a mile and a half yet. 
Probably not even near. So as we were talking, second class requirement while we're out here is finding signs of life, whether it's amphibious or carnivorous, but it cannot be trees and grass. So we can be doing that while we are here, which I'm sure it'll be very difficult because there's a lot of people here that probably run everything off. But it can be bugs. Really? It can, yeah, it can be bugs. It can be centipedes, squirrels, rabbits, deer, uh, possum, aardvarks, anteaters, yeah. zebras. Giraffes. Could be a giraffe. Monkeys. Probably won't have very much luck, but they are warm blooded animals. I had a bug on me earlier. How's your phone? Does it, <laughs> I mean, your watch, does it, is it like going crazy because you're actually doing something? I burned 86 active calories. <laughs> huh. Not sure it's good, but my pulse rate's been 144. That's up, ain't it? <laughs> that means you're exercising. All right, are we ready to go further? Got a racetrack over there, I think. There is a bicycle track, but those aren't bicycles. That's the highway. That was a bicycle. Somebody's pedaling really hard. All right, let's go further. Looking for signs of life while we hike. All right, so up there in that tree is a blob of leaves. What is that? That's a squirrel's nest. That's right. That's a squirrel's nest. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so only nine more to go. Only nine more. Just nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you hear the wind. Oh, I hear something over to the left. I couldn't tell if it was a woodpecker or not. Oh. All right. Nine more to go. Let's take it back. Here. And four more miles. <laughs> How many more? Four. Oh. Mama, that's just Maybe three and a half. Maybe. Well, maybe, yeah, probably. You, you want to do it? Go. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let me pull my back. Oh Lord. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, straddle it and sit down. <laughs> Two down. Eight more to go. Eight more to go. We be fast. The mama be slow. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Ah, uh, you need to find that out. Oh, you need to tell us which way to go. We're going that way. How about we uh, orient the map? Hundred seventy-three calories. One point five four miles. Um, Right here is where I was thinking, right where your cheese at snacks are. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Gotta be level. Wait, right on top. That's all. Mm -hmm.
is the compass level? No, it's not. Then let's level the compass. All right. You can do it in your hand, just like I showed you all ago. Uh, so is that north? Yeah. All right, so Now just stay right there. You can take the compass off. Just keep it right there. Which way is the trail going? That way. Okay, where are we at? Right here. That's right. And what's going to be our next Objective where are we trying to get to next? Let's start. Okay, and what might be near that we might see or we might know that we're, we've reached that point? You're not going to see it from here, buddy. That's about a mile away. Oh. Look on the map. What's going to, what looks, what looks like we might see once we reach that point? Either the golf course or the road. That's right. Clear. But all this is golf course here too, so we might see golf course there. But once we see the road, we know that we've reached a point. Yes. And then we'll start turning right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good deal. Now I have you some snacks. Yeah. This what? I'm not sure it's alive. Yeah, it moved. Oh. Oh yeah, that's alive. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well. It's gonna door me. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, made it to Wildcat Wildcat Shelter, and we're going further. Okay. Uh, what? Three more miles? <laughs> <laughs> Trail is that well that it does somebody finally pulled up the rear Hello. <laughs> uh, all right let's look at the map all right uh, like take this and uh, and north on the map or get the map pointing north okay. so face it north north is that way towards mama okay okay now all right now the whole point of of getting the map pointed north is so you can look see where you're at we're right at the start here so which way are we going yeah. which way that way that way. Okay, point on the map which way we're going. Where are we at on the map? Right here. Okay, which way are we going on the map? We're going down this way. Alright. So, in order to see where the next stop is going to be. I'm just going to flip it and got to get there. That's where we got to get to. Okay? That's going to be our next big stop. This right here is going to go around the golf course. And we're gonna turn right and go back into the woods again, and or something like that, maybe. I'm gonna take this road trail. We're gonna move back. All right. Okay. Show us the way. You gonna make it? All right. Let's go. This 
see some birds. We see a woodpecker. We're going to chase and see if we can get it. There he is, right there. Oh, he keeps going further. It's a pileated woodpecker. Well, darn. We got an camera though. Well, we got a maybe. There's another bird right there. Right there. Well. So that, that is signs of a woodpecker, so we can video that. Where's it at? Right here. This is signs of a woodpecker. And we saw the woodpecker, or a woodpecker, so there is a woodpecker out here. And that's where he, why do, uh, why do woodpeckers punch holes in the wood? They find food in trees. Yeah, well, what, kind of, what kind of food? Termites, Termites. ants. Yeah. Not bad, dude. Not bad. All right. What is that? What is it? You getting a stick? I'm poking it. All right. All right. Come there, you guys. That's a turd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what laid that turd? Um. We like to call it scat in scouts. <laughs> Be a little bit more <laughs> nicer about it, I guess. Maybe a, a wolf. Close. I don't think there's wolves out here. So what? Deer. Is, no. Are wolves and deer the same? No. So what's close to a wolf? A dog. It is a dog. Maybe um, a coyote. Yeah. So why would you think that it was a wolf or a coyote? What, what gives it away? <laughs> shape. Well, yeah, shape. But there's something else if you look closely. <laughs> I don't know. Does it have hair in it? Oh, yeah, definitely. So why do you think it has hair in it? Maybe the dog... Licked not a dog. I mean, the, not the dog. The coyote groomed himself. No, it's not so much grooming himself. Um, he ate something. What do you eat? A deer. Probably not a deer. Or, no, birds don't have fur. A rabbit. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, probably a coyote that had eaten a rabbit, and that's what came out. So now you know. Mm -hmm. And that is another animal on your. Oh, well, that means we need. So we were thinking we can't do insects because the requirements didn't call for insects. What? So it has to be a mammal or a fish, or amphibian, or a mollusk. And I think that snail counted as a mollusk. So that gives us four. We had the squirrel, we have coyote, we have the bird. And we have, what was the fourth one? Oh, the, the snail, the mollusk. Okay, nice face. Thank you. Right there. Where are we at? Right there. Uh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We have the coaster. Wait, show me on the map where we're at. Um... Well, wait, we're right there. That's right. So we do go that way. Okay. Okay. I was right. No, you're not looking. You look here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beaver dam. What is that? This? No, oh, right in front of you. Whoa. Yeah. That's well, a beaver. Yeah. Sure is. Nothing on They've been working on this dam for a while too. They've gotten it out pretty far. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, 
that makes number five. So now we need squirrel, mollusk, squirrel, mollusk. Woodpecker, there we go. Woodpecker. Um, and uh, the wolf. No, no, the coyote. Coyote. And the beaver. And the beaver. So we need five more to go. Five more. I was hoping you might see a fish where this close to the water. That makes six. <laughs> Look at those across on the other bank. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Whoa. See the fresh wood over there. Oh gosh. Look at Goodness, great. Look at that one tree. It's, that's a big old tree if he drops it. Can you see how big it is on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> how long do you think it takes a beaver to get through a tree like that? Three hours. I doubt that. An hour. I have no clue. I really don't. That is really big trees over there. Still got a lot of energy to run all the way across. <laughs> Are you tired? Yes. I'm a little tired. Very much. So I've got a half a mile. Really? Yeah. Well, let me give you some hope. See that sign? It says park entrance, 6.6 six miles? Yeah. That's a half a mile. Only a half a mile. Only a half a mile, about 15 minutes away. <laughs> Getting dark. <laughs> We hit the trail at 1.30, and what time is it now? It's 5.05. 5 o'clock. <sighs> well, just one more push and we're done. Y'all get to ride for an hour. <laughs> I think it's funny how when you first start off, I mean, you're shooting video <coughs> of all sorts of stuff. Water, bugs animals 12 year olds doesn't matter trail your ugly mug but after you've been out here a little longer than you wanted to the video camera goes in the pocket and uh, you don't really think about doing much video you're just more concerned about getting <coughs> getting out of here <coughs> so uh, we've done what we came here to do which is Hike the trail and get the. What? Are you doing? <laughs> um, compass reading, a map reading, and he's did pretty good. Got some uh, wildlife on footage to go towards one of the other requirements. So uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to push and get out of here. First, I gotta ask you a question. Oh, all right, ask me a question. All right. When we get home, uh -huh. would you like to play some Minecraft? Not really, no. Mm -mm. No? No. Come on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hello, we made it to the truck. We survived. Mama barely did, but we did. Isn't that right? Uh, that's right. <laughs> now we're gonna go home and have some dinner, and I'm gonna ask my dad if he wants to play Minecraft one more time. You wanna play Minecraft? No. Oh. Okay. Okay.
Okay, the official end of the trip video. We are back and we are, well, I'm not that tired, but I got a door handle there that doesn't move until I unlock it. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we just finished five miles, maybe a little more actually, uh, here at Montgomery Bell State Park. It's getting dark as you can, 6.2 miles, not bad. Uh, it's getting dark as you can tell. The security lights are on. We are back at the visitor center. Do what? Three and a half hours for 6.2 miles. Worked on map and compass. Think we got that uh, taken care of. We still got some more animals to uh, pursue. And um, but right now we're going to get the packs off, get in the truck, and rest our weary bones. And and about an hour drive back to the house. So with that being said, Levi, last words. Subscribe. Leave a like. Don't worry about commenting down below because Dad disabled that. No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Alright, comment down below. <laughs> okay, is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, do if you want to. I don't care. But thanks for joining us, and we will see you on the trip. See ya. <laughs>